Hey everybody, it's Beniza again. Um, doing a Lent video. Um, Lent started on the 10th and I think it finishes on the 26th of March. Um, I've decided to give up uh, soda or soft drinks, so Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Dr. Pepperin, pretty much stuff like that. Um, also candy or chocolate or sweets or whatever you want to uh, name you want to call, call them. Um, Sweets, if you're in England, candy, I know, there's a, uh, an American phrase for them. Uh, so, we're in today 3, 10, 11, 12. So, starting to feel a bit um, groggy. But I think that might be also because I haven't really slept yet. Um, I didn't print, didn't sleep all last night for apart from about half an hour. And I went for a walk this morning. I just made a My Cope Rewards video uh, about the walk I took this morning to get some codes to put on our my cope rewards account or accounts so lent is going okay so far just tired i think more tired from lack of sleep than um lack of sugar i think coca-cola and pepsi have something like like 10 spoonfuls of corn uh syrup or whatever it is or sugar or what the whatever equivalent they put in all these uh, soft drinks so minus 10 10 spoonfuls of sugar or 20 spoonfuls of sugar a day um, depending usually I just drink one sometimes I might drink two depending on how I feel I guess um, it's going okay uh, um, I went into Walgreens last night and looking at the gummy worms and um, the Reese's peanut butter cups and they had Cadbury's, the English Cadbury's milk chocolate or the American version of it which is, it tastes a little bit like the the, the real English version but it's not really the real English version um, which I can only, funnily enough I can only find in a Caribbean store in Orlando and they have it at like six dollars or something crazy um, so and I almost forgot because um, on the tenth when it started, I, so I kind of really owe half a day. Um, not sure because I forgot that it was the tenth. I still thought it was the ninth and drank a can of Sprite. So I owe half a day and or a whole day, or if you, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so it's going okay so far. If I can make it to the 26th of March with remembering that I'm actually doing this um, will be better than even better than me actually doing it on its own because you know three days in and I forgot or two days in sorry yesterday I'd forgotten already again and I went to pick up the gummy worms and thought oh then I thought oh, I can get these from Dollar Tree, a bigger pack from Dollar Tree for cheaper. Then I thought, then my wife looked at me and didn't say anything, and I, I thought, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be eating these at the moment. So, and I try and make it a permanent thing. Um, I think after March the 26th, it might be a semi-permanent thing, but it needs to happen anyway because I put on 50 pounds in the last six years, seven years, since I moved from England to Florida. Uh, basically, I, don't, I haven't been playing any sport like I used to. I used to play basketball and coach basketball with uh, to people half my age, uh, so 18, 19, 20-year-olds, um, who are uh, six foot three and 50 pounds or whatever, craziness. They were who can run a mile in five minutes or four and a half minutes or whatever and running around the court and I'm set like my mind's dizzy um, so likes and comments of support please reminding me that I'm supposed to be doing this for Lent reminding me that I should be doing it past Lent you know um, Roseanne Barr and obviously he was um in the who was um the lead character in Roseanne on T V mentioned um in an interview or something that you know, you really don't need it it, it you really 
should not eat sugar. It is sugar, um, or partly to do with it. And I think Walgreens and CVS, they're not to blame, but because at the end of the day, we consume what they sell. They're only selling the stuff that we want. Um, it's, uh, it's us to uh, you know, hold back from the temptation. And obviously, I've been tempted plenty of times. You know, like a, uh, I guess you could say, like a, an alcoholic likes beer or vodka or whatever. My, my vice is sugar. So, or you know, someone who smokes cigarettes. You know, they start with ten a day, then ten years later they're sm smoking forty a day, and they're wondering where all their money is. And it's quite it's the same with everything. Same with sugar, coffee, uh, cigarettes, alcohol, whatever you want to consume. You know, look at the amount of money you could have saved or used for something else. And that's the same with you know candy or soft drinks or chocolate you know, or pork rinds or whatever you like to eat so, you know, instead of spending a dollar fifty on your favorite candy to, uh, whether it be Reese's or Milky Way or Mars Bar or Cadbury's Dairy Milk or whatever you know although there there's um, I think a, my a friend on Facebook put an article about that Scientists or doctors or researchers of whatever qualifications are saying, you know, now chocolate's good for you. Um, which I kind of agree with, but it's in mo every, it's like everything, isn't it? It's, it's in moderation. Um, um, I can't remember the swimmer's, swimmer's name, but he did an interview. And I, I was remembering two days what his name is, and forget why I was trying to remember his name. Uh, Michael Phelps, that's the one. He did an interview after he'd won so many golds in the last Olympics, you know. And I, they asked him how many ca calories do you consume a day? He said, well, between I think 10,000, 11,000 calories a day, a day to train. Um, so the the person basically I think joked him, oh you can you can eat as many you know as much McDonald's and Burger King as you like then it's well you know, that's true but it's the quality of food you know he has to eat clean protein and clean carbohydrates and whatever else and you know it's getting the good the good stuff in your body not the this you know running into McDonald's oh I'm hungry and I've got to go to training in you know ten minutes or an hour sorry. So, you know, I've got to back, get back onto that path of, you know, trying to train my brain again to eat, you know, if I'm burning 2,000 calories a day to, you know, try and burn off 1,000, uh, 2,200 a day or 3,000 a day to try and get my body or my weight down. So, I appreciate your help. Uh, my mind set on Lent, so that's kind of a help. It's Lent, so you know people are posting on Facebook. You know we're going to give up Facebook for six weeks. We're going to give up this for this amount of time. We're going to give this that that, that and cigarettes and alcohol and whatever. So although I did have a bad half day, I drank a Sprite and sat down here. And I think I made a video on here on the tent. I can't remember, but oops. Anyway. My time's almost up to 10 minutes, so I'll stop yapping on about Lent and everything. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening, sorry. And if you get any, have any Lent um, stories, or what you, you know, comment on what you're doing for Lent. Thank you, and I hope we have a good conversation about Lent.